I'll put Polly into you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You need to wash your hands. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Bluey has one of the liveliest cast of characters in animation, from Bluey and Bingo to their ever-growing list of friends. Calypso's class at Glasshouse Primary School has a roster full of creative students who have bright futures ahead of them. Although Bluey occurs when the main characters are between the ages of 3 and 7, a few episodes show glimpses into their futures. Each of the children in the series are unique with interests and skills that may point to their intended careers. In today's video, we're reviewing moments from the series that point to the jobs Bluey and her friends will have when they're adults. Come on, Bluey! The creek is beautiful! Maybe I should get... Come on! Number 1. Bluey as an actor One of the main appeals of the series is the complex and engaging imaginary scenarios that Bluey and her friends find themselves in. Most episodes include games of pretend that require the Healer family to improv while taking on specific roles. Bluey takes the lead in many of these scenarios, committing to the bit by making the games more immersive and believable. Her acting skills range from being an opinionated grandmother and grannies to a fun-loving boss and exercise. Bluey and Bingo even go out of their way to put on performances and shows for their friends and family. In Circus, Bluey joins her friends as they pretend to be a circus troupe performing for Bingo. And in the show, the sisters put on a play detailing their parents' relationship. Bluey is passionate about acting and is a natural at making make-believe scenarios come to life. She had a baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> Number 2. Bingo as a teacher A particular trait about Bingo that doesn't receive enough attention is how much she loves to learn. She's interested in the world around her and will go out of her way to discover new things. In episodes like Mini Bluey, Bandit and Chili mention how different she is from Bluey. One of the main distinctions between them is how organized Bingo is compared to her elder sister, because she always stacks her library books in a specific place once she's done reading them. The scene shows a collection of books she's already finished as Bingo reads while waiting for breakfast. Not only does Bingo enjoy learning for fun, but she likes to share the information with those around her. In the episode Fruit Bat, she explains to Bluey that bats are nocturnal and don't sleep at night. She later reads a book while trying to use the restroom, explaining that it could benefit her later, leading to Bandit commending her reasoning. Bingo's logical thought process, eagerness to learn, and willingness to share information would make her a great teacher. Even though I don't really need to do a read, I'm going to do one anyway. Otherwise, I might wet the bed. Number 3. Indy as a Midwife a popular game among Bluey and her friends is Mums and Dads, and in the episode by the same name, Indy and Rusty have a dispute while deciding which parent should go to work. Indy enjoys playing this game with Rusty and her other friends, with the role of mother coming to her naturally. She's specific about how and when her child Polly receives care. In another episode, Early Baby, Indy pretends to give birth to an early baby while explaining to Bluey and Bingo how it should be cared for. It's possible that Indy received this information because she has an early baby in her family, or because she has a family member who works in newborn care. Indy's desire to play pretend regarding young children and their well-being would make her an excellent midwife or pediatrician. Everything's gonna be fine, Indy. I go with flannel. Here it comes. Pop. Hooray! Number 4. Rusty as a Soldier Bluey tries to represent all types of family situations and dynamics. The series' dedication to making these representations as real and relatable as possible leaves many fans feeling emotional after watching the episode ARMY. Although everyone knows Rusty prefers playing cricket, it's possible that he could take some time as an adult to take after his dad, who serves as a soldier in the army. In the episode, Rusty befriends the new student Jack and the pair spend the day playing ARMY. Throughout the game, Rusty explains what a soldier does and seems to admire everything they do. His admiration comes from living in a military family with a father who is away on duty and whom he looks up to. Rusty can carry this admiration into childhood and enlist once he's capable. You can use my spare, but from now on, keep track of your equipment. Yes, Sergeant. Pop! Pop! Number 5. Jack as an Astronaut Although Jack joins Glasshouse Primary School as a new student, he quickly makes new friends and begins playing games with them. Two of Jack's closest friends include Rusty and Mackenzie, and in episodes like Space, the three boys break away from their classmates to pretend like they're going on an immersive and dangerous expedition into space. Before their game begins, it's decided that Jack must play as the investigator because he knows the most about space. Throughout the episode, Jack explains things about space, fact-checking information, and gently correcting his friends, like stating that their ship gets struck by asteroids and not meteors. Jack's interest in space may allude to his future as an astronaut. Actually called an asteroid. I'll do a spacewalk to make sure the ship's okay. Number 6. The Terriers as Police Officers 
The Terrier brothers are a group of triplets who rarely spend time apart. As siblings, they work best as a team and have an innate interest in pretending to wield swords, shields, and arrows while defending old castles. Most of their appearances include them playing Romans, shown briefly in episodes like Calypso and Typewriter. The Terrier brothers' desire to defend their home and protect others would make them great for public service, like working as police officers. The English are approaching! Archers, ready! Ready! Hold and fire! Number 7. Mackenzie as a Sheep Herder one of Bluey's closest friends is the impatient and outspoken Mackenzie. Mackenzie spends many appearances playing games with his friends, even though he becomes frustrated when situations don't go as planned. When situations go awry, Mackenzie has a habit of isolating himself or separating from the group to process his feelings, showcasing that he could thrive in an independent and quiet environment. Bluey also likes to allude to characters working jobs that real-life dogs can do, like Chili working in an airport or Rad working on an oil rig. With all of this in mind, a potential job for Mackenzie could be a farmer or sheep herder. In real life, border collies are used to manage and herd livestock, and in the episode The Creek, Mackenzie expresses shock when he learns that the healers don't regularly jump on sheep. The interaction insinuates that Mackenzie is familiar with farm animals, and he showcases his athletic and dexterity skills by hiking and clearing rocks. Yeesh, some of these stones are pointy. Just take your time and watch out for wobbly ones. Number 8. Lucky as a Cricket Player Although Bluey's neighbor Lucky doesn't attend Glasshouse Primary, there are still things to learn about him from his time with the Healer family. For example, the episode The Decider shows Lucky and his family watching a cricket game alongside the Healers. Unlike Chucky, Bluey, and Bingo, who don't know how to follow the game, Lucky has a favorite team, knows the plays, and celebrates when appropriate. His intense focus and dedication to the sport may lead to him becoming a professional cricket player as an adult. No, he has to choose one side. Why? Because you can't keep changing. Number 9. Judo as a hairstylist Bluey's other neighbor and close friend Judo is easily recognizable by her thick fur. As a chow chow, she can't help resembling a crowd with a soft coat and pristine appearance. The episode Dirt follows a conflict between Judo wanting to play with Bingo and Bluey while trying not to get dirty. However, by the end of the episode, she chooses to have fun and maintains her high-maintenance coat with a haircut. Judo's experience balancing a demanding appearance with having fun could make her a fantastic hairstylist. Can you do me? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, let's do it. Number 10. Snickers as a news anchor. The lovable dachshund Snickers loves to be a sausage dog and often references his unique appearance. Unfortunately, he can't make a career out of being an adorable dog breed. However, he does have a specific interest mentioned on his official Bluey webpage and in the short Canine News. The short showcases Snickers pretending to be a reporter for K9 News at Glasshouse Primary, and it features numerous characters and callbacks to previous Bluey episodes. The series doesn't mention where Snickers picks up his interest in reporting or recording events. Regardless, his attention to detail and dedication to covering all situations would make him a fantastic news anchor. He could even report on the success of his friends in the future, giving them the recognition they deserve. Welcome back to K9 News. I'm your news anchor, Snickers. The concept of an episode explaining different careers and showing the characters expressing an interest in them would be a fantastic way to introduce different jobs and life paths to the younger audience. Bluey receives praise for how it teaches using fun concepts, simple stories, and engaging characters. If Bluey chose to be an actor, she could show the significance of the arts, while Indy as a midwife or pediatrician could explain the importance of helping others. Like everything in Bluey, exploring different careers and their potential could provide a fun and engaging way to teach about universal experiences. We also need a kitten birthday cake, but I'm going to say sorry we've run out. And then you have to be sad. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Indy, I think mums can go to work. Yes, yeah, second dads, if they want.